Robo, when was your last 32-point uh, game? Can you remember? Um, not to go off the top of my head, but it'll probably be senior year of high school. Did, did you feel more kind of aggressive and, and assertive out there today than, than maybe any point last year? Uh, yeah, I felt way more aggressive. Um, you know, knowing uh, we had great seniors last year, you know, knowing they're gone, you know, you got to – we have we have more on our plate as me, Jeff, Milan, V, Malachi. We have more uh, that we have to prove out there on the floor. Jeff, what did you see out of Robert today? I just saw Robert play like he's been playing in practice for the past, you know, month, month and a half. Um, you know, he's always out there running, shooting threes, knocking them down, getting to the hole, scoring. And he's been doing that in practice every day. And so just to see him kind of, you know, come out of his shell a little bit in this game and go for 32, I'm real proud of him. Milan, uh, first time on the court uh, as a Cougar. How did it feel? Um, you had multiple steals, uh, working on hard on both ends. Uh, it definitely felt good to finally be able to get on the court. Um, I felt like I settled down once I got my first bucket and got past my first win. Um, I feel like uh, our team did a great job today getting the win and uh, getting stops late in the game. So that's how we won the game. You got to the free throw line, free throw line quite a bit tonight, uh, 16 attempts. Uh, what were you seeing out on the court uh, driving-wise and, and attacking? Uh, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of free throws throughout the season because I feel like no one can guard me off the dribble. So that just caused, causes a lot of defenses to put their hands on me and help a lot. So I feel like that uh, if I keep attacking, I'll, I'll get to the free throw line a lot this year. So. This is for Jeff and, and, and Robo. Uh, you guys kind of you guys feel like you're a bit timid at first in the first half and then just you finally just started seeing some shots go down and got back to normal a bit? Yeah, you know, it's like Robo said. Um, Having, having such great senior leadership last year, uh, we kind of came out on the court and just, you know, it took us a little bit to kind of settle down and, and realize that we don't have those guys anymore, so now it's on us. And um, I think once we got past that, that's when we went on our run in the second half or at the end of the first half and then the second half. And, you know, once we settled down, that's when we kind of kind of got into our situation. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't say it was nerves or anything. I was just, we had to settle down. Um, you know, that was our First time, uh, all of us, uh, you know, we're out there on the same time, you know, playing in front of our crowd. You know, we had a lot of new guys out there, you know, they're inexperienced right now. So, you know, just let them settle down, you know, eight, 10 minutes of the game and just, just realize it's just basketball at the end of the day. For, for Milan, I, I guess get, getting into that hole, does it show something about the team that you guys were able to climb out? It's a pretty new group of guys playing together and you guys were kind of persistent throughout the game and didn't ever let them kind of bury you guys. <laughs> Can you ask that question again? Yeah, after after kind of getting into getting into a hole early in the game, what, what does it say about a group of young guys to be able to, to persist and, and kind of playing together for the first time and still be able to climb out of that hole? Well, at Wazoo, I think that's the type of mentality we're trying to build this year. Um, nobody's taking losing for an answer, and we're we're willing to do whatever it takes to win. So, I just feel like if we keep working, um, the sky's the limit for us.